Hi guys, Harry here from TechMediaFusion.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, today I wanted to do a video, and I know it may not be incredibly interesting, but um, I found it interesting, and so I want people to, uh, in particular, take part in this and kind of get some sort of a debate going, if you can, as to whether what you think about this. Now, the title of this is, Is Google Corrupt? Now, that's not necessarily my view on this at all. Uh, it's just the, uh, the best way of titling this this particular dilemma uh, basically every morning when I get up uh, everybody goes to work in school I'll sit down my routine is I'll sit down I'll go through all my RSS feeds find out what articles are interesting which ones aren't so interesting uh, which ones I can make an article out of for myself over Tech Media Fusion or make a video of um, and this is where the inspiration comes for this particular video I found this article uh, on one of my RSS feeds and thought you know it's really interesting and I would like to highlight it and I would like to get other people's feedback that this maybe happened to. So, if you are a website owner or you are a blogger or you've got a YouTube channel, when you write an article or you put a video up, what you are trying to do for the most part, most people are trying to get ranked on the first page of Google, You know, whatever the article is that they're writing, they want it to hit on the first page of Google or if you're doing a video, if you're doing uh, YouTube videos, you try to get featured on YouTube's kind of feature page. And so it's all about getting the top spot, because if you get the top spot, then you're going to get top traffic. You're go if you're making money from your site or your videos, then you're gonna, your earning potential is going to increase. Uh, and So people put a lot of time and effort into their articles and their videos to try and enable that to happen. On this particular RSS feed this morning, a lot of people were saying that on Google forums and um, personal emails that they'd sent to Google, they had noticed that over the last six or so months, more and more, when they're putting search terms in, uh, instead of just you know one website coming up for a search time search term on the first spot and separate sites coming up as they're going down the first page, one site might be coming up. Uh, five or six times on the first page. Let me give you an example. Say um, I own a, a pizza parlor and it's called Harry's Pizza Parlor and somebody's putting in the search term pizza parlor, not Harry's but just pizza parlor. When that search term goes out and Google do all the algorithms to, to fire out links to it, um, Harry's Pizza Parlor is coming up the top spot on the first page, which is fine because if Harry's Pizza Parlor is the best pizza parlor in the world, then that's where it should rank. But people are saying that more and more they're seeing where Harry's Pizza Parlor is coming up first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And sometimes, not very often, but sometimes it's happening, so it's maybe getting more and more of an issue that it, it's spilling over onto the second page. Now, companies who are running other pizza parlor sites are losing business as a result of this and so therefore they find it incredibly unfair that because other pizza parlors that are still you know ranked very very high should still be getting on the first page one pizza parlor shouldn't be taking up an entire page of Google or even half a page uh, people are saying that if it's ranked on the top spot of the first page that should be enough that should be enough to tell people that Harry's Pizza Parlor is the best the next one down is second best and so on and so on and so on um, and that's where this whole complaints thing is being generated from so do you guys think that this is Google being corrupt and corrupt in the form of I say corrupt because Google, Google will stand to make money from this, from doing this, because if Harry's Pizza Parlor has Google AdSense running on it, which most sites do, you know, a lot of sites will have advertising of some sort, some form on it. Uh, I'm not sure ex what the exact st statistics are or, or percentage-wise, but I'm guessing that if you take all the websites in the world um, that are running advertising, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing 
that quite a high percentage of them are running Google AdSense. So if Harry's Pizza Parlor is running Google AdSense and Google plastered all down the first page, then Google are going to also make, you know, it's not just Harry's Pizza Parlor, it's Google as well that's going to make money from that, from doing that, because they're getting the money from the advertisers themselves as well, you see? So, um, that that's where the corruption side of it would come in. Or is it just pure business? Is this just Google's way of doing business? Um, I would really like to know from you guys, especially uh, if you've had this happen, whether you are... Uh, a website owner or a blogger or somebody that's making videos here on YouTube and you are busting a gut it doesn't matter you know you're doing everything right you've read up all these SEO books you've watched all these videos and all the rest of it about how to 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 refine your site or your video to, to to rank high and no matter what you do it's just not happening for you you know how would you how do you feel about this or if you run a business and, and it's happening to you, your business is being pushed further and further down and it's not necessarily um, because your your status is running down, you could be second in the rankings but just being pushed onto the second page because of this um, this problem. Or are you maybe running a site where it, this is happening to you, it's, you know, you're being ranked all the way down the first page for the same search term. Uh, how do you feel about it? Are you getting much heat from you know your competitors about it? Are people pointing the finger at you and saying it's your fault, or you know, are they suggesting that you should be going to Google and doing something about it? I'd really like to know what you think, um, or like I say, if this has been happening to you. I know it's not an exciting, dead, thrilling topic, but it is interesting because at the end of the day, if you're watching this video, chances are you've got a blog, a website, or a video. And at the end of the day, as well, you know, we're trying to make money. We're trying to um, increase our traffic on our sites, and so these these do these things do matter to us. Thanks very much for watching this video. Don't forget, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter and Google and Facebook and um, all those other social networking sites. I don't want to list them all here. If you go across the Tech Media Fusion uh, in the sidebar down the right hand side, you can see all the different sites I uh, belong to. Uh, also as well, I get a lot of people emailing me and saying, you know, how do I click on, how do I get uh, an RSS feed from your site? Well, where the social networking buttons are, there's a little orange button there as well uh, with the RSS uh, emblem on it. If you click that, that will, you know, get the RSS feed to whatever, but you've got to use an aggregator, don't forget. So something like, you know, Google Reader or something like that. Um, or... If you want to, you can go down, go to my YouTube channel page and all the links will be down the sidebar there as well. Don't forget, the uh, video and the, the links that are relating to this will take you across the Tech Media Fusion and you can, you know, weigh up all the different things that are said there as well before you make uh, an opinion on what I'm asking you here. Thanks very much, guys. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Everybody take care. Bye.